So what about the notion of a Leveson-style inquiry into banking? And what about a change of culture? Well, we're joined now from Birmingham by the MP Mark Garnier of the Treasury Select Committee and the Financial Times editor Lionel Barber. Um, Mark Garnier, let's just start with the emblematic figure, figure at the heart of this, who seems to represent the culture that we're talking about, uh, Bob Diamond of Barclays. Should he go? Mm. Well, I'm not one of those people that are calling immediately for his uh, resignation. I think it would give us, you know, sort of a week or so of satisfaction that we had seen him gone. But actually, I think it's much more important that we keep, continue to hold him ac to account and we hold him to account as a very, very senior officer in Barclays Bank rather than as just a rich bloke who's sitting on a beach. Lionel Barber? Well, this is obviously a matter for the board, but the Financial Times said this morning that <clears throat> Mr Diamond should go. He is the CEO and CEOs are responsible for the culture inside a bank or any other institution. And by the way, there were many, many signals from some of the most senior people, including Sir Mervyn King, Andrew Bailey, who's going to take over banking supervision, signaling that he should go. Well, uh, let, let's just look at the scale of this crisis, because it's hard really to remember so many things coming together to represent banking in this kind of a pickle. Um, I'm wondering, Lionel Barber, do you think there now should be a major investigation, inquiry, Leveson style, into the whole banking sector? I think this is a very bad idea. Uh, and the reason is that this notion that public inquiries, which cost, by the way, millions and millions of pounds, mm -hmm. take up enormous amounts of time, uh, is, is the answer, is wrong. Actually, there was a very good report written by uh, Adair Turner, who's now the head of the FSA, explains everything you need to know about the financial crisis. We've had the Vickers Commission, which has held important public hearings, also on what's wrong with banking. I think this is time for Parliament to take its, fulfil its role, have good public hearings and hold these executives, including Mr Diamond, to account. Mark Garnier, that's you, Treasury Select Committee. You'll get uh, Diamond in front of you. Um, but today we've heard Vince Cable saying, rotten to the core, banking. Do you have the capacity to sort this out without a public inquiry? Well, this, I think, is the, uh, the really important point. I mean, but before we all go and recess in three or four weeks' time, we will have uh, Bob Diamond and another number of other people to come before us on the Treasury Select Committee. And there's absolutely no doubt about it. We will give him a very, very sound grilling and possibly even a sound kicking as well. But again, I come back to this sort of fundamental problem. We, we, we have a situation now where there is a huge amount of mistrust and distrust of the banking system by the, 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 the wider population out there. And I think whilst Parliament can do a little bit, I think we have to confront the fact that a lot of people are distrustful of Parliament. When you come and have a full independent uh, inquiry that goes in at a great sort of deal of time and effort and length and admittedly expense, what you're also doing is having a period of truth and reconciliation. And I think what we need to do is get past this sort of hump of banker bashing and hating and get on to the, to the future, which is where, unfortunately, we have to rely on the banks. There is no better mechanism of distributing money around the financial system from where it is gathered to where it is needed. And we, and we actually do need our banks, and we need to work with them rather than trying to beat them up the whole time. Well, yesterday, which was a very critical day for parliamentary activity, and you're saying go for parliament, um, mm. All that really happened was that the two front benches called each other by names and declared that each was responsible for what had gone wrong. Why do you have confidence that the political classes have the capacity to sort this appalling mishmash out? Well, I have some serious questions as who came up with this idea of a public inquiry. Was it George Osborne who, th who thought or thinks that he can use this as a stick to beat mm. Labour Party for its light-touch regulation? Is, it politician, are, is this because politicians wish to eff effectively devolve the role to non-elected representatives? This is dangerous. Parliament is the elected body. It's up to them to be responsible and it's up to them to mm. communicate to the public. And it's also up to shareholders to take action if they're not happy with the CEO or the board. The difficulty is, Mark Garnier, that the bill that you're about to push through Parliament, uh, reforming banking, splitting casino mm. from retail, it, it actually has a clause in it which permits banks to go on until 2018 or 2019 before they sort themselves out. Surely we need action now and we, we need to be through this within a matter of very short years. I agree. I mean, but what we're actually seeing is a lot of the banks are moving forward towards this 
uh, sooner rather than later. If you look at the case of Basel III, they're moving their liquidity ratios and their capital ratios towards what's we expected with Basel III now because uh, they want to get on with it. And I suspect that once the um, bill becomes an act, and bear in mind it's only a white paper at the moment, so it's going to take some time to come through, but it should be through by the end of this session, uh, then I suspect the banks will start moving towards that. But until there's real clarity on, on exactly what, what is going to be proposed in the bill, uh, and we've gone through the process of debating it and, and modifying it to make it into something very robust, uh, the banks aren't really going to be in a position to start moving forward just yet. Let me just inject a note of caution here. The fact is, as was alluded to, the banks are having to increase their capital ratios. This means one of the reasons why they're not lending at the moment. Yeah. And this scandal on LIBOR is actually a, it's a lagging indicator. These uh, incidents took place during the global, before the global financial crisis, um, th when credit was available. Mm. This was the era of excess, the era of irresponsibility. We need to be careful about taking action which will actually depress the economy just at the moment we need recovery. Lionel Barber, Mark Carnier, thank you both very much indeed. Krishnan.